What's happening guys, I'm back here with another episode of best Android launchers and generally in this series of video I explore new launchers so if you have not been through my previous videos uh, the link to it is in the description so without wasting any further time uh, let's go ahead and get into the review so the first one here is the Yandexel uh, this is the Yandexel launcher you guys must be knowing about the SPB Cell 3D uh, it's a 3D launcher very fancy uh, that you can get for $16 or something from the Play Store but this launcher is similar to that launcher and you can get this launcher for free so uh, on top you have the widget uh, the date day and the weather widget which also includes uh, this uh, search bar so that's a really good add-on uh, here you have your shortcuts you can add additional shortcuts if you want to tap and hold it hit add and add your applications you can add widgets and a few of them are inbuilt widgets that you get with this launcher. I'll come back to it in a moment. You also can add additional panels to it. That is additional home screens. On the bottom you have this standard dock. Above that you have these page indicators. So moving on, uh, you have this full page uh, widgets uh, similar that you get with the uh, similar to the SPB Cell 3D. You can add additional widgets as well. So here you have your Google News, the weather and so on. Moving on to the app drawer. Uh, here you have all your applications and uh, from here you can edit your app drawer if you hit edit you have additional uh, additional options to hide your applications create new folders and additional stuff so that's good uh, you also get a custom dialer with this launcher so this is the custom dialer looks really nice very simple very elegant moving on to settings uh, if you get into home settings you'll uh, get to the launcher settings so from here you can get into system settings and uh, from here you can customize your launcher. So under general you can customize your language, you can add additional language if you want to as in you can change your language and from appearance you can change the look of your launcher. Say for example right now I have the Yandex cell theme, you can enable the SPB cell 3D. Uh, you also can uh, get the contact pictures round or square, this is for your contact list. Again you can uh, customize your widgets and panels. You have wallpapers and again you have this dialer since we have a custom dialer with this launcher you can do the customization for your dialer so that's really nice uh, that's pretty much it for the settings so now we have a SPB cell 3d look and now if you tap this you have this 3d kind of view all right very cool so this is very similar to SPB cell 3d so the launcher is very smooth, very simple. If you want this uh, fancy kind of launcher, you can definitely try this. So that's my number one. So guys, the next one here is the 360 launcher. So this is the 360 launcher. And this launcher is very similar to the Go launcher. Uh, this launcher also have its own app store from where you can download uh, custom lock screen and uh, skins for this uh, launcher. That is the themes. So right from the lock screen, you have a custom lock screen. So this is the lock screen that you get and uh, this is somewhat like the MIUI lock screen. All right. And here you have your weather widget. Uh, we have some Chinese characters on it, but uh, nevertheless, let's just ignore it. And you see this uh, something uh, here. If you pull it down, if you pull it down, it changes the wallpaper. It will download uh, the latest wallpaper from the 360 app store. Wait a moment and you'll see the change. So there you see. Uh, again, uh, you have some uh, custom widgets as well that this launcher provides. I'll come back to it in a moment. So here you can see that we have uh, completely uh, different icons. And uh, we have regular home screen, space indicator at the bottom and the dock. Moving into the app drawer, uh, here you have all your applications. And from here you can do the customization for your app drawer. Like creating a folder, hiding applications. And uh, under settings, uh, you can change the trans I mean transition effect. Uh, screen scroll loop, uh, a grid size and background transparency and so on. Going back, again if you tap and hold it, you have additional options to add widgets. So as I've already said that this launcher provides some additional widgets. Uh, say for example, just a moment guys, okay from here you have some additional widgets like the uh, clock weather widget itself. Quick open, I'll come to it in a moment. You have this switcher, uh, this is like the toggles, I mean toggles bar, uh, the cleaner, memory cleaner, uh, power management, uh, quick settings, feedback, uh, data traffic and so on. 
So I was talking about this quick open. So this is something like the pie controls. Uh, uh, you have four sections here. All right, hot, recent, uh, safe, cleaner, installed. Uh, you can customize this as well so that you can add your favorite applications that you use the most. So to customize it, you must get into settings. And uh, first you need to do the gesture settings, uh, left side glide, right side glide. And then you can uh, customize the section from here. All right. Uh, so everything works as it should. Everything is working. Even the widgets that you get with this uh, launcher works perfect. There you see. Uh, again, creating folder is really easy. You need to overlap the icons. Removing any icon is the same. So again, hitting the menu, getting into personalization. Uh, you can add additional lock screen themes and stuff. So guys, with this launcher, you know, you have this uh, cool animation while charging. So this is your battery level. All right. So that's really good as in uh, pretty unique. Okay, you can change the desktop effect. That is the transition effect on your desktop. Again, uh, getting into preferences, so this takes you to the launcher settings. So from here, you can customize your launcher. So guys, uh, these settings are the same that you get with the other launchers. Uh, some things have been added, uh, like the uh, quick launch and so on. So you can go ahead and have a look through this launcher. So this was just to inform you about this launcher. So definitely go ahead, try this out. This launcher is very smooth. Uh, there are some things, you know, like the Chinese characters and stuff that really irritates me a lot. Uh, but nevertheless just give it a try that's my number two so the next one here is the everything me launcher uh, it's a very simple launcher and the one i'm using here is the beta version so this launcher is very simple very minimal it does not provide you with you know cool transition effects or customization options so that you can add skins lock screens and so on a uh, very fast very simple launcher but it do provide some new features like the what's on your mind and the smart folders so i'll come to it in a moment so uh, apart from that it's a very simple launcher everything is common that you get with the other launchers your basic home screens dock your app drawer widgets nothing added to this launcher no, nothing extra i mean uh, we don't have any uh, customization options that i've already mentioned so apart from that uh, let's go ahead and have a look on what's on your mind so if you have anything installed on your phone if you type it here it will uh, you know take you to that app say for example facebook all right I don't have Facebook, but it will uh, take you to Facebook. Uh, say, for example, uh, okay, Gmail. So, uh, you know, right from your home screen, you can search your applications, or you also can use your voice uh, voice command. Uh, that's added. And the next one here is the smart folders. All right, there you see. So how this works is, uh, say, for example, uh, I don't have any games installed right now, but. Uh, uh, if I have some games, uh, automatically, you know, that game will be added to this folder, the games folder. So in case if you want to create a folder, tap and hold, hit add smart folders, and you can, uh, you know, select from any categories you want. Say, for example, uh, you know, videos, weather, and so on. So if you download any weather app, you'll get uh, that app in the weather folder. So very smart. So that's why we get this smart folder. So guys, whenever you create a folder, you know, you have a unique look. Uh, with this launcher let me just sorry guys let me just quickly show it to you okay now overlap them now see a very cool icon a folder icon you can access it so this is a kind of uh, productivity folder because we have this easy uninstaller and we have the recommended apps or say somewhat related apps on that folder uh, apart from that nothing much added as i've already mentioned very fast very smooth so definitely give it a try so that's my number three the next one here is the dock for droid so as soon as you launch this app you'll get this screen so from here you can uh, see the tutorial uh, you can enable or disable the status bar icon if you enable it you'll have this dock for droid icon on your status bar you can disable it if you want to here you have your position and size set up uh, so that you can uh, customize the position and the size of your dock here you see this highlighted area which says touch me uh, from here you can launch a dock all right uh, so just a moment guys okay so from here you can uh, you know change the position and the width of your dock again uh, you can uh, customize this dock uh, you uh, what apps do you want to uh, list there say for example the five most recent apps you can add additional shortcuts contacts actions uh, you can remove any apps uh, from the dock if you want to 
So uh, you also can do the icon size setup, icon offset, colors, and you can do the setup for this dock. And now that if you make a swipe here, you'll have your dock. So let's get to my files and just release your finger, you'll get to it. So very handy for multitasking. The next one here is the taskbar Windows 8. So this is a Windows 8 style taskbar. Uh, you can enable your taskbar, you can edit the start menu, uh, like the taskbar theme, all right. Uh, the taskbar position, uh, you can uh, edit the uh, start menu items, that is the applications. You also can do your setup for the taskbar. And now you are done, you can go back and you see this icon at the bottom, this icon, all right. You can place it anywhere you want to. And now you launch it, you will have this uh, start bar. All right, you have all your applications here. You can get into, uh, you have your Wi-Fi connected, Bluetooth, uh, all right. You can get into settings. And uh, you have your uh, recent applications on the taskbar. If you long press it, it will be closed. Sorry. Okay, like this. So this is how it works. Or you can uh, tap here to clear all your recent applications. 69 apps killed, memory available, and so on. So that is, uh, you can clear your memory from there as well. So again, uh, if you want to hide this uh, icon, pull your status bar, tap it, just a moment, and uh, just remove it. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's all for this video. Stay subscribed for more. I'll be coming up with more videos. That's all. Thanks a lot for watching, and you guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.